Are you kidding me? That seriously should be illegal. I'm Shuey and in this video I'm going to show you how to smoke chicken Maryland. Be prepared to hear the word moist a lot. We have roasted, fried and grilled chicken. Now it's time to smoke some. So sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. Chicken Maryland means different things depending on what country you live in. In the US it's in regards to the state of Maryland where they made a recipe with it. For us in Oz it's how we explain the drumstick and the thigh still attached. Anywho I grabbed some to smoke and here it is. All we need to do is flip them over and we're just going to trim off all this excess skin and fat. We don't need it. To get as much flavour into this chicken in the shortest amount of time, I'm going to stab it. With a jacquard, obviously. I'm not just going to randomly attack my food. The jacquard pierces little holes all over the skin. And this just allows the fat behind the skin to render out a lot easier. And it just helps the rubs and sauces penetrate through that skin. Now, if you don't own a jacquard, a bunch of skewers or a sharp knife will still do the trick. Just takes a bit more effort. All right, it's time to give our chicken a massage. And I find olive oil is a nice oil to use. It's got a lovely scent. So just rub that in all over. Now just flip every piece over and do the underside as well. A good liberal amount, massage that in. Now before I start getting comments about, geez this guy's weird, I didn't have any peanut oil, that's why I used olive oil. And obviously I'm not massaging the chicken, I'm using the oil as a binder. I wanna go with a savory seasoning on this chicken, so I'm gonna go with the meat mitch rub. It does state it's for chicken on the side of the shaker. Plus I've tasted it and it tastes pretty good. Mm. So I'll just throw some rub on the back side of these Marylands and see how I'm keeping the shaker about 30 centimeters above the chicken. That just allows the particles as they leave the shaker, they separate and you get more even coverage. Don't forget to do the sides. And by applying the rub at this height, it also ensures every bite we take is going to taste exactly the same. How easy was that? Nearly as easy as liking this video. Now we can pop this chicken into the fridge until our smoker is ready. Now a little tip, if you didn't notice the way I actually put the seasoning on, I oiled from the top, flipped it over, oiled from beneath. Then I put the rub from beneath, flipped it over, rub on top. This is our presentation side. We want it to look nice, so think about it. Today, I'm gonna be using a 57 centimeter Weber Smoky Mountain, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with my JG Barbecue deflector plate. Good question, because I want that chicken fat to render out and then fall down through the cooking grate onto that hot deflector plate, and then turn into tasty little puffs of smoke that come back up and flavor our chicken. Now, I wanna be smoking at temps of 150 to 160 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll achieve this is by filling up that charcoal ring in the Weber Smoky Mountain with unlit charcoal. I'll then three quarter fill a chimney starter with charcoal, light it up. Once that's all ashed over, I'll dump it into the center. And then for some smoking wood, I'm gonna use some iron bark and a couple of chunks of cherry. Now we just need to put the WSM back together, the deflector plates in, the grills in. I'm gonna attach an ambient temp probe to the cooking grate. I'll put the lid on, make sure all the vents are wide open on the bowl and on the lid. Connect the probe to the thermometer and we'll monitor the temperature. And once it gets to 50 degrees Celsius off our target temp, I'll close all three bowl vents to the thickness of a match and that should hold our 150 degrees Celsius all day long. But I will leave that vent lid wide open. That's our exhaust vent, and we need to get rid of that dirty smoke. It's time to get the chicken into the smoker. Now just place them on the top grill, leaving space in between each one for airflow. I'm just gonna stick the thermometer in one of the legs and make sure we don't touch any bone. Now just pop the lid back on, and we're going to set the thermometer 
for 74 degrees. It's time to start thinking about a glaze. Now, by all means, you can use whatever sauce you want. I'm using a mixture of Meat Mitch's Naked and their Char Bar Table Sauce, about an eighth of a cup of each, and I'll even cut it down with a little bit of unsalted butter. The butter just adds a nice gloss to the glaze when it sets on the chicken. So just add that to the cooking grill, put the lid back on. Now by all means, let me know in the comments what's your favourite sauce. I'm always open for suggestions of trying new stuff. Today I'm smoking with a medium to high indirect heat of 150 to 160 degrees Celsius. This cook is going to take around an hour to create some moist chicken. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. The thermometer just went off, letting me know that the chicken is ready. So it's time to glaze. All right, we just want to give the glaze mix a bit of a stir and then just give every chicken a good coating of the glaze. This smells incredible. Now just pop the lid back on and we're just going to give that two minutes for the glaze to set. No longer. Just remember that chicken is now cooked. Right, let's get the chicken off the heat now and give it five minutes to rest. Bingo, look at that. Look at the color on them. That is incredible. The smell coming off these is absolutely amazing. All right, you stay right there, I'm grabbing a beer. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel and while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button and that way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, that's enough nap time. Time for this to get into my mouth. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. That is super moist. Let's cut a bit of this off. Oh, look at it. It is just oozing out juice. Seriously, that is perfect. Are you kidding me? That seriously should be illegal. That's it. Smoked Chicken Maryland. As always, cheers for watching. Oh.